Good morning. Time for the second talk of this uh, 2022 edition of the academic track. We have uh, Kawe here from the Federal uh, Technical University of Paraná from Brazil and uh, is presenting us the new QGIS plugin for sidewalk drawing in OpenStreetMap. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Kawe de Moraes Estena, as Marco already introduced it. My work is named OSM Sidewalk Creator, a QGIS plugin for automated uh, sidewalk drawing for, for OSM. So, uh, 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 first of all, why I'm here? Uh, I'm a guy uh, uh, worried about uh, uh, accessibility, okay? But so, let's uh, uh, go a little bit on the question. <laughs> Because uh, uh, at the first place, there are lots and lots and lots of accessible roads for cars. <laughs> and there's also plenty of fine access ramps, but just for cars. Um, now, a little bit more seriously, uh, sidewalks are very important. Uh, they mean safety. So, so there's the there's this Department of Transportation from the United States that uh, at his data there is stated that almost 80% of the car crashes occurs uh, at the non-intersection parts of the roads. So many car crashes happen because uh, there's a ro roads that have no sidewalks. Okay. And at uh, a good state, a, a good shape, sidewalks can mean accessibility as well. Uh, sidewalks are ubiquitous. So according to the, the European uh, uh, the Observatory of Gender Smart Transport, at least 30% of, of euro mobility is done by foot or, or, or is done by foot or cycle. Uh, and in some cities, it go to the level of 70%. Uh, and also, sidewalks are needed for a, a brighter future or, or so. Uh, according to the World Bank, uh, they are uh, fundamental for at least four of the 30 SDGs. And they are also needed for the, for the urban, new urban agenda also from United Nations. But sidewalks are frequently in a real bad shape. These are some sidewalks from Brazil. This one is very, this photo is very representative of the reality and we have some kind of pieces of, pieces of art uh, the, in, in Brazil. It's a very common situation. Uh, so how to solve this? Oh, we probably, we mappers probably can't. <laughs> but we can help the one who actually can. But, but how? Through collabor detailed and corroborative mapping of sidewalks. So of course, uh, I'm here, <laughs> I'm talking about OpenStreetMap, uh, sidewalk data on OpenStreetMap. So here they are some uh, mapped sidewalks on my city, Curitiba. Uh, but uh, there then arises the first question, that is, how to represent sidewalks on OpenStreetMap? But so, but, so uh, at this moment, uh, at least uh, at the forums, at some discussion uh, forums, there are many divergences. I, I haven't seen a lot of this uh, at the present moment at this conference, but uh, uh, in the last five years, it has been a, a huge topic of discussion. So there's two forms to represent sidewalks on OpenStreetMap data. The first one is, uh, is representing them as uh, the, that's the one that uh, uh, appeared the last, but uh, I sitting here uh, as the first, as representing sidewalks as, as geometries, as separate geometries, uh, using the, the tags highway footway and footway sidewalk. Um, so then the attributes of the sidewalks can be stated with clear and simple case, like surface, smoothness, width, and incline. It, they, they are actually the, the fundamental uh, tags for accessibility map, the, this, this four ones. Uh, 
and there's there's also the other way to do that that is representing uh, sidewalks merely as tags as metadata from the road so you, then you use sidewalk uh, both right left tag and for to state properties you need to use use compound case you start with sidewalk two dots uh, both left to right and then a, pro, a, a, a property of the of the sidewalk. So something like sidewalk to point left to point uh, with then the value. Okay. So many times relying on left and right can be tricky for the map of, and also misleading. And not all tools can handle left or right uh, at, at the present moment. And also, uh, there's the other question on how to represent uh, sidewalk networks, because uh, solely the geometries of sidewalks are not enough to create uh, ro roadable roads uh, uh, for, for mobility and routing uh, as a whole. So uh, representing sidewalks as geometries, the crossings uh, also need to be represented as geometries. And as well as the curb access points. Uh, and this enables for richness of information and detailed information. Uh, at the other hand, when we represent sidewalks as tags, uh, all the information, the information must be stored on the, on the nodes. And there's, a, there's room for lots and lots of ambiguity uh, uh, because nodes, nodes doesn't have sides, actually. Uh, so you can represent all, uh, sometimes it's represented all in the center point of the road intersection and sometimes at a, a point at the same place that the, the cross might be. But uh, uh, all, all, the, all the, the, those schemas are not, uh, an, not uh, really a complete, uh, uh, capable of uh, store a lot of information at, uh, at uh, uh, in a nice way, I think. And uh, so, uh, talking about this, why we advocate for the sidewalks as geometries? Well, at the first place, because reality is complex. Uh, there we have uh, two examples of mapping uh, sidewalk furniture and mapping uh, sidewalks movements. There is the reality in most parts of Brazil. You cannot go from one block corner to another at the same type of sidewalks. Many times when you have two neighbors, one neighbor have a sidewalk uh, with, with, with one type and the other a totally different sidewalk. So only uh, doing de detailed mapping, we can know for sure what's the real situation, I think. Uh, and there is also a common uh, crossing at, at Brazil where uh, at, at these eight access points that one, only one crossing have, there are five, uh, there, are, there are five uh, that, is, that, are, that are raised and only, and only three that are lowered and only two of, of it have a tactile paving to assist blind, blind, blind people. And there, all, there are all, also other types of complexity in the reality that cannot at all be stored on, on the tagging schema, like uh, uh, complex shaped sidewalks. And there's, and there's also some stuff that there, there is for representation, like uh, uh, crossing islands on the sidewalk schema, mapping them as geometries. But then, uh, apart from that, uh, what's the state of sidewalk map at the OpenStreetMap? Well, not that good at the present. So let's take a look at tag info. So when we look at the highway tag, we see that there are 200 million, 200 million uh, ways uh, uh, tag, tagged as highways, uh, mostly are residential. and we know that probably most residential ways actually have a sidewalk on, 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 on both sides. Remember, I'm not talking about living streets, I'm talking about residential uh, uh, 
tires. Uh, and then looking at the footway value, only 7% are footways of the all of highways. And looking at the sidewalk tag and also through the footway tag, we have other situations. We see that there are almost 3 million of, of the sidewalk tags. But when you look at the values of the sidewalk tag, most are uh, only to indicate if there's a sidewalk. Uh, there's both the both the uh, both and the right that are the most common values. Uh, as our research indicates, only the no value is actually uh, relevant information. Is almost trivial information. Say that in many urban scenarios, there there are sidewalk on both sides, and only one one hundred thousand. Um, uh, uh, features have actual relevant information for accessibility. There are so few uh, mapped types of surface in the, in the tagging schema, and so 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 few uh, features with the with it mapped on the on the tagging schema. On the other hand, when we look to to the footway tags, that is the main parts of the of the sidewalks mapped uh, as geometries. We, we see that there are 5 million uh, features. But uh, knowing that each uh, sidewalk needs a crossing, actually, uh, the uh, 3 million, uh, that's the number of the footway with the sidewalk value, are really a more representative value. So then, uh, considering the world's vastness, uh, how to cover up this gap? So if we consider an uh, urban area with only one square kilometer, uh, with uh, 90 per 90 uh, blocks, this, uh, this scenario have 23.5 kilometers of sidewalks. So imagine a, a whole city of kilometers and kilometers of, of extent. So then, uh, well, uh, thinking about the, the, the vastness of the world, uh, draw it only manually may not be the, the best idea. There are so these people from the United States that have a, a, a dedicated tasking manager only for mapping of sidewalks. And at this project uh, most near complete com completeness uh, they take 10 minutes for mapping each task and 22 minutes to to validate so so manually mapping sidewalks is a, such an error prone task and 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 hard to do for newcomers and in this example it will take uh, uh, hundreds of hours to map only 0 0.665% uh, of the, the, the city of Sao Paulo. That's a huge city, but it's still a, a small area for, for that, uh, that uh, uh, little amount of area. Uh, then we have created, uh, we, we created the OSM sidewall creator. That, that it's, it's graphical interface. Uh, so its main purpose is to automat automatically create uh, geometries with ba basic descriptive tags of sidewalks. It not tries to be a fully automated one-click solution because it's a really hard, uh, really hard task to achieve at the present moment. Uh, but it is a, um, a, a framework that guides the user uh, along the process, uh, 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 allowing control and fine manual fine turning along the entire process. So, and then how does uh, OSM Sidewall Creator does its job? So there are six steps. Uh, I will pass through each one of of it. Uh, it fetch OS, OSM data. It fills streets with it and filter data. It draws the sidewalks. It draws the crossing and curbs at six points. It, it speaks 
it splits the sidewalk geometries and then export the and open the and then export the data at, at JOSM. Uh, so the first step of uh, the op open op um, OSM sidewalk creator is to fetch OSM data. Is basically uh, a a uh, a overpass uh, or overpass carry. Download uh, mainly the highways, but also it can download the buildings. Uh, then the few street widths, because there are so so few uh, streets with widths mapped. So uh, uh, as for the type of of highway, we we state the the width that it may have. Okay. And then uh, actually draw the sidewalks is not a, a really complex process. It's basically a, a constrained uh, a, a buffer operation. It, it takes care to not overlap buildings, but it, it has a, a mean width because maybe sometimes someone can draw a, a building uh, above the, the road or, or something like that or so close to the road. Uh, and the, f the next step is to draw crossings and, and curb sex points, okay? Uh, it it spans a, a paper perpendicular vector, is, is linear, uh, a lot of linear algebra operations. Uh, it's not like that complex, but it, it draws for, for the entire situations and there are options to filter out possible outliers at, at the process uh, generation. Then the next step is to split the sidewalk geometries. The, the highlight uh, uh, is, is using Voronoi poly, polygon of addresses uh, because uh, many people say, ah, why you split uh, uh, before the, the geometry? So that's because this is the, the reality in some places like Brazil. But there is also the option to not split sidewalks at all, okay? Uh, and then are the part to export uh, the generated data and open at JOSM. Uh, is at this part at the JOSM that the nodes uh, that uh, uh, that the crossings and roads will share are, are generated, and also where the user can carry out uh, some manual adjustments. Okay. Um, so if you you use the 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 tool, please include the the that hashtag in the change set the change set comment. So then uh, the final remarks. Uh, there's a, a lot of room for improvement. Uh, any comment uh, and open opening an issue at the GitHub. The the project is fully open source. It, all contribution, contributions are welcome. Uh, uh, and so then uh, the also other topic is that future releases shall include the uh, view proper, properly if uh, there's a sidewalk already drawn and take advantage of information in the tag schema, uh, mainly uh, to, to uh, when there are no sidewalk, that is very important thing to do. Uh, and then always remember for all of you, the, the local reality must always be taken into account. The plugin though is not work well for a complex shape, uh, something like if you have many levels of roads uh, and bridges or, or something like so, but it is intended for a, a huge part of the territory that is occupied with, uh, with uh, not complex, uh, Types of uh, uh, types of roads. So if you think, oh, it's, it's too hard, it's a challenge too hard. Well, so they say uh, not many time ago for the whole open street map. This is the data from Europe in 2006. So there are the references. The highlight one is the far the, or well known guy Lorenzo Stucchi, and. Uh, so in this, there are lots of things uh, going through through uh, the from the main uh, background uh, and the, 
uh, at, from the basic tools like the GEOS library and the OSGEO, and uh, also for, for the QGIS. Uh, thank you for the funding for, for CAPES, that is the, the, the admin, administrative uh, organization that fund my research, and also for the Hot OSM that has funded my trip to here. Uh, there will be no way to be attending person without the Hot support, so I say thank uh, again. And for my advisors, and at last for my, for my father that is I will not be here uh, at all and not be a scientist without its influence. So you can uh, thank you, audience. You can always contact me at my email or at Kawi Vestena, that is, uh, that is in, many, in many places, Twitter, Instagram. My, it's also my OSM user. It's also my user on GitHub and my, in Telegram as well. Thank you. Thank you for the talk. We have some questions coming through Venueless. Again, if you want to ask a question, please use Venueless and also vote questions asked by others. Um, let me start uh, with this one. Um, have you evaluated the time needed to evaluate your plugin created data in comparison to the task manager verification you showed at the beginning? It is a time evaluation. Did you compare the two approaches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that it's it's really more more quick because uh, the main problem are are irregularly shaped geometries that that emerge when one tries to manually draw a sidewalk. Actually, it's not uh, easy to draw a, a straight line manually. It's very very hard to draw a, a straight line manually. And I, I think that the that the main probably one of the main highlights of the automated process. Thank you. This is interesting. Uh, your plugin makes the hypothesis that all the sidewalks are parallel to the street. Uh, do you verify in how many cases this is not happening? Yeah, uh, 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 as uh, I, I as I already have stated at the final remarks of the work, uh, it uh, the the process that the the plugin follows uh, is not applicable for any reality. When you you have a complex shaped sidewalks, there is no way to use it. The part that that talks about the complexity of sidewalks is for advocate for the sidewalk representation as a sidewalk as geometries. But uh, there are many parts of, of the world that have parallel sidewalks. So it's most intended to, intended to cover this part. There are many parts that will need uh, a, 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 more, a more dedicated look. And also the, the conf uh, it always uh, the, the, the sidewalk network that has been generated must always be checked on the satellite images available, okay? That is very important. Not only on satellite imagery, but also on mapillary imagery when available and for, by other means. It's not intended for all cases in the world. A similar question. Uh, how about cases where there are green areas or parkings between road and buildings? Is the plugin working in these cases? I guess the the answer is similar. Uh, I think that uh, uh, this this uh, this type of uh, of of, of uh, situation, as well uh, uh, when there are complex shaped sidewalks, you can carry out a, a manual editing. You can start from the from the what has been generated on the plugin and then you can manually adjust. You can use the splitting tool to create uh, a, lot of, a lot of nodes on the sidewalk, so then you can just adjust the nodes with what corresponds to the reality. Thank you. What kind of analysis would you conduct, would you like to conduct once you map the sidewalks of a city? I guess displaying features is only the first step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, probably uh, many of you have already seen my poster at the lobby. That is something like the first part of my PhD research, the, the initial part, because there's no way to map attributes of sidewalk without the geometries of, of, of sidewalks. 
Then there's also my the something like that is the final part of my PhD that is to represent this data, uh, make applications with this data, and make some statistical um, uh, uh, view uh, control on this data. Uh, and uh, I invite all of you that uh, already haven't seen my poster to to come at the coffee break and the lunch to to see that part of the work. Uh, and and they're also represented here uh, at this part. Uh, there, sidewalk furniture and sidewalk uh, uh, smoothness. Another question on the plugin, on the code, let's say itself. Uh, currently, languages are English and Portuguese. Is it possible to contribute for other languages? So you may say something on how contribution is possible yeah. from the community. Uh, it can be adapted uh, at this moment. It uh, uh, sadly follows a Boolean logic. <laughs> and it's controlled by a Boolean variable. So yeah, uh, true is English. <laughs> uh, at this moment, I know it's dummy, it's dummy uh, way of implementation, but uh, I, I have so many tasks on the PhD, and but it can be adapted. It can be adapted with no problem. I have con I have made contact with people from France that have been interested, people from Croatia that have been interested, and it can be uh, improved through include many languages or just the Portuguese can be swapped in a, in a, in a, in a branch on GitHub. If I'm, not, if I'm not wrong, the code is on GitHub. Did you think to submit it to the official QGIS uh, plugin repository? It's, it's, it's already there. Okay. I think the, that is uh, here. Great. R right. Okay, so that's, that's right, great. Right so <laughs> you will find it if, in case you want to contribute. Very last please one. Give me a start. <laughs> so <laughs> you can. <laughs> and also <laughs> the GitHub, please. <laughs> so, do you verify the automatization with satellite images? Uh, I, in the research, I have I, I have uh, I have checked it, and at this moment, it's not that good. Mainly with free imagery. If you have a real fine image imagery it can be not so bad because <laughs> because uh, 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 semantic segmentation is not a trivial task uh, and uh, i think that in maybe in the forthcoming years there will be lots of improvements on this topic but nowadays is not fine enough great we have another question but it's Again, on another very specific case of uh, uh, sidewalk geometries. So I think you, you can also approach the speaker afterwards. We need to yeah, move yeah. to the next one. But I would just propose to have another big round of applause for the presentation. Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure. <laughs>